this side my first bear. Day back out at the range. Got the brother-in-law along for the ride, the experienced hunter, gonna show me a few tips and tricks. And we're actually gonna get a bench rest set up here at the range so we can really get dialed in. You got a rifle to sight in. I got a rifle to sight in. So we're gonna try to get all that done, get some practice in. Only got a couple weeks until bear season opens, so gotta get comfortable, gotta get dialed in. So let's get this thing set up. but I mean inch and a quarter high inch and a half maybe maybe a half inch yeah roughly a half inch to the left that went to the right you are maybe one inch to the right Where did that one go? It's right at the edge of the black and the yellow. Okay. So you shot a triangle. Oh, I see it. What? Did you no notice a little bit more recoil? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's sliding on this a little bit. But, I mean, that's... A little over inch and a quarter, inch and a half. That's not horrible. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Upper, upper right of bullseye. Actually, yeah, that's just below the second one. So technically, you could take the first and third shot out of it. That'd be a really good group. <laughs> It's pretty funny. I'm, I keep seeing chipmunks running back and forth, and I'm like, <laughs> tempted. <laughs> All right, are you going? All right, bottom right. Let's do the bottom right. All right. Oh, hi. Yeah, one inch and a half. Eh, inch and three quarters high, but that makes sense. It's a 150 versus a 180. That's pretty much straight up and down. About an inch and a half. Inch and a half high. Okay, you split the two. You're touching your first shot. 
So it feels like, so what was I shooting in Texas then? I wonder if it was just off from shooting my scope from whatever I shot in Texas. I didn't write it down. Because ever since I adjusted, but left and right it shouldn't, like if I maybe bumped the scope too hard or something. And if the vast, like if you shoot your five shot group, the vast majority, because it eliminate, maybe that second shot was a flyer, but if they're all grouped to the right, then it's safe to move it to the left. Because you can't just like shoot one and be like, oh, I got to move it. You kind of have to get a group, a group together and see where it's actually shooting. Because you, you know, you can pull one, you just have one flyer. Well, that was just a flyer. Where your scope is aiming and where you're shooting is over here. You might just jerk the trigger for one and it, you know, yeah. sends it flying. So you got to have minimum three. I'd do five on this one. Yeah, you have that one flyer. You have a three quarter inch group there. No pressure. Just get it with the, the get it with those three. That's pretty good, huh? I think that's your best group. A quarter inch. I mean, you could adjust the scope over. To the left? To the left. I mean, that's a hundred, I mean, it's gonna be a quarter inch per click. Maximum half inch. Well, so that would make sense, so like, so I'm at, cause I'm at, I had adjusted yesterday. I adjusted the two. So I, that was a half, you said? Half MOA or one MOA? It, it'd be a half, so it'd be two clicks. So were you at two? I was at two, yeah. I adjusted out to two yesterday because I felt like I was, but. That's so weird. Hardy. <laughs> no, there's no, there's hardly, there's a little bit of heat by the chamber, but. I'm used to traditional steel barrels and after 10 rounds of 308, it, it'd be it'd be a bit warmer than this. <laughs> left. <laughs> yeah, two and a half to the left. So it definitely went left. I don't well, think it should have moved. Let me get these three on there. Okay, that's um, almost that's a quarter inch center, to yeah? the left and one and a half inches high. Half inch higher than your second shot, but straight up in line with it. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like maybe it's probably at this point just me moving more so than anything else. You want to take a shot? Safety's on. What do you? Should have two left in there. Two left. Shoot at the middle. Mm -hmm. 
one and a half high, one left. Is that the exact same spot? I think you double tapped it, dude. All right, give me one more. Because <laughs> if I can do a three shot group in one hole, then I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> I'll just go home right now. <laughs> uh, yep, that's the Meg release, by the way. Dang. <laughs> Dude, that's less than a half inch. So, I think it likes that ammo. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah. How much you want for it? <laughs> Pink slip. Pink slip, right? Yeah. Just go. Yeah, right? You can have my odd six. I'll take this one. Ready? Yep. Oh, got it. Right at the top. Right at the top. And I was aiming. Um... That's awesome. <laughs> Dang. Okay. I'm also it's not I'm not hundred percent sure like what angle the the plate's at too, so but yeah, dude, nice. 250. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Man, you are almost at the zero. That might put it dead on. Actually, that's pretty comfortable right there, kneeling. Okay, you ready? Yep. yep. Pretty close to the center, dude. All right, you take a hit. <laughs> I, kneel down, it's actually okay. comfortable. Yeah, get the... I should have thought of this a long time ago. Oh, the, the yoga pad. Yeah, dude. This thing's awesome. You gotta breathe like you're in yoga. Look how light it is. <clears throat> yeah. If you kneel down, it's actually perfect. You can just edit that out of the video. <laughs> that we weren't thinking. Oh, there's nothing in it. Ready when you are. Dead center. First steal. How does it feel? Nice. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. All I needed was somebody to set it up for me. <laughs> well, and just, you know, Dad said we can leave the, the rest and bench here if you want to practice. Yep, I was about two inches higher. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, we're not really. 300, kind of up and over that. Uh, let me break that branch off out there. Where's... You clear? Safety on? Oh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Down range, going down range. Yeah, it's, I, I mean, I think you could shoot through, but you might as well just break it off. Okay. Well, 
I pulled the, tr I squoze the trigger. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Oh, dead on. Right down the middle. A little high, about an inch. Inside. I was actually aiming high. Were you? Yeah, because I, I didn't, I thought shorter barrel, less velocity. Ready. Ready. Boom. Yep, that's right about the middle. <laughs> okay. Freaking sweet. Uh, I think there's one more. I, I think I loaded all, the last three I shot two. I think there should be one more in there. About two and a half inches from the bottom. Oh. Good. Whew. All right, I'm gonna, let's put one. That's freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. 300 yards. Yeah, and so then now. All right, well, we're back. What's your assessment on how the uh, session went? Um, well, we need to clear the trail and it'd be a lot more efficient. <laughs> um, I think we did good. We found, we found a, a load that your rifle really likes. Yeah, it was really liking those 150 grain ballistic tips from Nosler. Um, and those were what blemishes? Yeah. Cos cosmetic cosmetic ble blemish. Yeah. Um, so a little cheaper than. <laughs> yeah. Normal. No. Yeah, that's like fifty bucks a box stuff. But what you get it for roughly thirty when they're the right. co cosmetic blemishes. I think it's doing good. We just need. We just need to get a non-slip mat for the table. And then you can start trying out some other loads on it. And then we just need to get a couple different shooting, like real life hunting situation, right. shooting spots set up there. Yeah. Cause it was almost too easy. <laughs> it was almost too easy with a lead sled on a table. It was still fun. But. Yeah. We, so we got dialed in on the hundred yards pretty much. And then we got out on steel hit 250. And then got on the steel out to 300 as well. So that was exciting. The first time for me on uh, getting out to that steel. So uh, Brian kind of took a few shots on on my rifle, got, got it sort of dialed in there, and then figured it out. And then, yeah, once that was set with that rest at the lead sled, <laughs> I mean, it was just ting, ting, ting every time. So that was exciting. Oh, well, cool deal. That's uh, yeah. Thanks for all the tips and getting that on steel to 300. That was pretty fun. So yeah, just a few weeks, a couple weeks now until until the opener of bear season. Gotta get out there, get my boots on the ground, see my spots that I've picked out, see if they're actually any good in real life. Get some more practice in between now and then, and hopefully we're feeling confident. So stay tuned for the bear hunt. All right, well, got DxO loaded up, got the rifle slung, rocking two tripods, spotting scope, camping gear, bino harness. So we're gonna go try to run some rounds through the old waypoint and see how this goes. Trying to get a feel for the backpack set up with some gear in there. Uh, so far I'm really liking the way the XO carries the load. Pretty comfortable so far. Probably need to do a little bit of adjusting to get it really dialed in, but all good. So I'm gonna hike out here to the range. Clouds have finally burned off, fog's burned off, no rain at the moment. So should be a nice little afternoon, 
range session. Here we go. All right, just got back from setting up all the targets, spray painting again. I'm uh, gonna get stuff to shoot here. Gonna be shooting first the Igman 147 grain full metal jacket, super cheap ammo. Gonna see if it'll shoot here just for some target practice. Uh, gonna get on 100 and then see if we can walk it all the way out to 300. So, gonna get set up here and rock and roll. left that is looking good Right, yeah, pretty close to on there. Got it. Let's move to 300. All right, gonna move up to 300 here. Gonna try it off the, uh, the stump. See if we can hit it.
Woo, five for five, baby. All right, well, I just finished up that box of Igman 147 grain. And man, it shot pretty well uh, once I made just a little bit of adjustment on my sh shooting position <clears throat> and try I was comfortable. Uh, it was right on pretty much at 100 yards. And then, man, I dialed right to 200, hit it 200, dialed out to 300, hit it 300. Uh, I even hit the three inch steel at 150 um, which <laughs> uh, yeah that's pretty cool um, so and then yeah shout out to 250 dialed there uh, missed the first one at 250 but I think I just pulled it a little bit uh, hit on my second shot so yeah overall really happy with this session um, it's nice to know that that Igman 147 grain shoots nice uh, since it's so much cheaper than a lot of the other ammo out there right now so I'll be able to pick that up to get some practice in um, it's really close to the Nosler 150 um, that I probably will be bear hunting with um, that one shoots real nice uh, out of my gun so yeah super happy with this session I'm gonna pack it up and head in uh, but man feeling good uh, feeling pretty confident shooting from prone shooting kneeling just made sure I had good rest uh, focused on my breathing focused on my trigger my finger control um, and it seems to be doing well so that's it for this session we're gonna be back out again I'm sure uh, so we'll see you soon Yeah. <laughs>